Sometimes you need to write to a really fast database. Let me show you how you can use Python to write to Valky, an in-memory database. We're gonna be using Amazon MemoryDB to create this Valky cluster. So head there, hit the big orange create cluster button. You can select all the defaults, give it a name, choose the engine as Valky and create a subnet root. Mind you, this may take a while to create. So while it is creating, go get a coffee or something. Once it's done, select the cluster and copy the cluster endpoint because you're gonna be needing that later. Let's go ahead and install the Redis package for Python, pip install Redis, and let's go ahead and write our application. First off, a bunch of imports, clusters and JSON, and set your environment variables or variables for uh, the cluster endpoints. Now let's create the Redis client. We're gonna be using the Redis cluster we've imported and defining all of the values we have set in our variables. This is the critical part here. Make sure to do exactly the same. Paste in your endpoint here that you copied earlier and let's go ahead and set some data into our Valky database. Now to do that, we're gonna be using the Redis client.set method where we're gonna be defining a key and a key can be anything. In this case, we're gonna call demo key column one and some data. We need some data. Well, let's go ahead and create some dummy data. data. Data is just a JSON object with whatever we want to put in there. So we're going to create some silly little JSON object we're going to be passing on with JSON dumps. As you can see here, we're now passing in the JSON.dumps and that object. And again, it can be anything you want. And look at that, save, right? Let's run the application. Look at that, going, going, nothing. We need to get some data first to show something on the screen. So let me show you how you can get data from Valky. Similar to the set, let's go ahead and write our own call to Valky to get some data. We're gonna, again, use the Redis client and we're gonna run it inside of a print statement. So Redis client.get, and then we're gonna just define the key we want to get, that's it. In this case, it's demo key column one. Once I fix all of these um, parentheses here. Okay, save, run, let's have, hopefully this works. Look at that, Python app UI, look at that, we have data. And just like that, you can get data from a very fast in-memory database such as Valky on Amazon Memory DB.